What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide your first window from your second window with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide your first window and show your first window from your second window with PyQt5. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on all my courses, videos, and books. Runtime fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we set up this system where we've got this main window, and we can open a second window. And when we type something in here, boom, it pops up on the second window. In this video, I want to show you how to then do stuff to your first window, this guy, from your second window. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to hide it and show it. So we've got these two buttons, hide and show, and we're doing this to the first window from the second window. It's a little tricky, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. So I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always, and always you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist, so check that out if you haven't so far. All right, so I'm in my C PyQt5 directory, our virtual environment's turned on. Let's open the designer, and there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna use all the code from the last video in this one. So if you didn't see that video, I'll put a link in the description below, but I'm just gonna open up that second window. So navigate to our PyQt5 directory, and I think we called it connect2.ui, and there it is. And here I just wanna make this a little bigger and add a few buttons here. So uh, let's go one, two, eh, let's go three just for fun, <laughs> right? So let's sort of make this one bigger and this one bigger. Oh, that was quite a bit bigger. There we go. And let's do this one as well. Trying to make these roughly the same size just for fun, you know, but I suppose it really doesn't matter. Ooh, too big with that one. All right, for this one, let's put a hide main window or just hide main. For this one, let's go show main. And let's do a third one as well. Let's hide this one, right? So if we want to make these a little bit bigger. We can say maybe what, 16-ish, hide main, make this one 16, and this one 16. Okay, so now we've got these three buttons. Let's go ahead and let's move this just a smidge. All right, good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and save this guy. Let's go file save as. So in the last video, we called this connect two. Now I'm going to call this connect, I don't know, four. <laughs> right? I don't know, whatever. Or let's say connect two dash new. All right. So, okay, go ahead and save that. Now we need to convert this into a Python file. So head back over here. And it's going to be pi uic5 dash x. And that was connect two dash new dot ui. And we want to output this to connect to dash new dot Python. Okay, so now let's open those files up. So we want to open up our I'm in my PyQt5 directory. Come down here, we want connect, we want connect one, that's the main one. And we also want this new connect two underscore new. So let's open both of those and get rid of this. Okay, so this is our connect1.py file that we created in the last video. Now, we're going to make some changes to this, so I'm going to save this as a new file. So let's go save as, and let's call this connect1 underscore new. So now both of our files are connect1 underscore new and connect2 underscore new. So the first things first, we need to connect this one to this one. And in the last video, we had it like this. Now we need to change that to new. And okay, let's go ahead and save that. Now let's run this just to make sure this is working. So that's connect1 underscore new. So let's go Python connect one underscore new dot by. And we get this, we can open this window. We've got our new buttons. They don't do anything yet. But if we type something here and submit, it pops up there and that seems to work. So, okay. Now, before we get into this, I just want to show you very quickly. Here's our main app. If we wanted to hide this when we open the second window, we could right in here, we could just call main window dot hide. All right. So if we save this and run it, Now, when we click this, boom, it disappears, it's hidden, and this one pops up. Now, in this case, we don't want to do that because we want that window up so we can type stuff into it. But if you wanted to hide your first window when you opened any second window, that's what you would do. So very easy to do that. So that's just sort of a, a fun little thing. 
keep that in mind. We don't actually want to do that, so I'll comment that out. Okay, so let's open this app again and let's talk a minute here. So we've got this. When we open it, this new one pops up. In this one here, with this button, we want to hide this thing whenever we click it, or we want to show this thing, right? So how do we do that? Well, if you think about it, this file, this window is really just sort of this thing right here, right? And this thing right here doesn't know anything about this thing. So in our main app right here, we imported this. So it's in there, right? But in this file, we haven't imported anything. So it's not, so our first app, our first file, that connect one underscore new dot pi file, this file doesn't know anything about it. Now you would think, hey, can I just import it like this? You know, uh, come up here and uh, from connect one underscore new, change this to, what was it, main window, right? You would think, hey, can't we just do that? No, you can't because then you've got like a circular import thing going. When you import this, it then imports this, which then imports this, which then imports this. See, we got a circular thing going around here and the whole thing just crashes. So we can't do that. Instead, what we wanna do is, in right here, when we open this window, we wanna pass in all of this stuff, or you know, at least all of this stuff. Well, yeah, mostly all of this stuff, right? We wanna pass that in to this file. So how can we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We just come right down here, and where we're sort of setting this thing up, we just pass in our main window which is you know, this thing right here that we just hid earlier. So we just pass in that whole main window. So now in here, we need to sort of account for that. So in our setup UI right here, we need to bring that in main window, right? So now this thing will be knocking around in here and inside of here, we can do stuff with it, right? Okay, so now what do we wanna do? Well, let's come up here and let's create some functions. So we wanna define and let's say close main and we wanna pass in self pass for now. And let's define show main. And again, let's pass in self, pass for now. And we also want to, let's say, hide second, hide that second window, right? And let's pass for now. So we've got these three functions. Now we need to call each of these functions when we press one of the buttons. So if we come back over here to our main app and to our push button thing here, we've got a thing that calls a function from a button. So I'm just going to copy that. And let's come down here and find our buttons. So here's our first one. So let me paste this in. And this was close main. And I'll just copy this. And here it looks like our second button. Yep, right there. So we paste that in. And that was show main. And let's see, the last one, there, that looks like that. That was going to be, what did we call it? Show second, I think. Yeah. So, okay, so now in order to hide or close a thing, remember back here to hide this thing, we called main window dot hide. So we would wanna do that same thing over here, right? Main window dot hide, but we don't have a main window. We passed main window in right here, but we can't actually use that inside of here. We can try it. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. When we do, we can open this window and we hide it. Oh, we get an error. Main window is not defined. Well, I don't know. This is object oriented stuff. Can we try self dot main window? I don't think that's going to work either, but you know, might as well try just to show you because you shouldn't trust me. Nope, that gets an error too. There is no attribute main window. So how can we get to that main window stuff if we can't just access it? Well, very easy. Instead of calling main window, dot hide, we need to pass this main window into that function when we call the function. So if we come down here and here's where we call the function, close main, boom, we pass in that main window. We're also gonna wanna do it here too, so we might as well do that. Now we can account for that back in this function by passing it in here, create any variable name you want. I'm just gonna call this main underscore W. So now main W is basically our main window. So we can do all the stuff we want to do. So if we want to hide it, it's just main W dot hide. All right, so let's save this and run it, make sure that worked. I think it probably will. So let's open a window, there it is. Now if we want to hide it, boom, the main window disappears. Okay, so 
now we need to bring it back with the show main button. So we don't have that one done yet. So let's work that one out. Again, same thing here. I'm going to call this main underscore W for main window. And here we want a main window dot show. Right. So let's save this and run it. See if that worked. Let's clear the screen. It's getting unruly. Unruly. All right. So here's our main window. We open the second window. We want to hide it. It's hidden. We want to show it again. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Now notice if we type something and then click submit, it still appears here. If we hide this and show it again, it's still there because we haven't actually destroyed it. We're just hiding it, right? So I suppose we could close it with a dot close, but I don't know. We don't really want to do that. We just want to hide it and show it. So very cool. We're doing this now from the second window and that's really cool. Now, what about this one? How do we hide this one? Well, we haven't done that one yet. So let's do that. Uh, here we have the second window. Second window is our second window, right? So we need to pass that into this guy, I suppose. So let's come down here and here's our show second. Instead of passing main window, we just want to pass in second window. And let's come up here and create a little variable. Let's call this second underscore W, I guess. And here it's just second underscore W dot hide, just like earlier. Save this guy, run it. So let's open this window. We hide it. Uh oh, what have we done wrong? Show second. Did I misspell something? Oh, hide second. <laughs> so let's come down here and we call this one hide second. There we go. All right. So that should work. Let's go ahead and save this. Run this guy again. So we open our window. We want to hide this one. Boom, disappear. We want to open it again. There it is. We have to open it from this window because the second window is hidden, right? Very cool. So what happens if we type something, something and submit? Boom, it appears. What if we hide it and then open it again? Uh Oh, this is a new one. So because when we're calling this one, we're opening a new one. We're not hiding or showing, right? So if you wanted to hide or show, you'd have to keep that into you have to take that into consideration. So just keep that in mind. A easy fix. You should be able to figure it out now after watching this video. No big deal. So that's how you hide and show your main window from your second window. Now we're hiding and showing. You could do anything you want, right? You could, I don't know, anything that's on your main window, you could play around with, I suppose, right? But basically, you could use the same concepts to affect anything in here, right? Just pass it in and play with it, right? So pretty simple and pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 taxes, all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.